Ram, Dog, Dan, Training Center. What's up, guys, gals? Greg Hogue. I'm back in the den. I want to showcase an exercise for you guys and gals this afternoon. It's a Charles Lackey exercise called the Hourglass. 30 balls, 30 shots. <clears throat> Run them in any order. The tough part about this exercise is you're going to be jacked up. You're going to deal with clusters. You're going to deal with tight situations. This exercise is great for helping you deal with being uncomfortable in game situations because that's exactly what you're going to deal with here. So, plus we're going to talk some tip position with Thomas Van Eck's IQ. I'm going to break the balls, see what happens. See what we get. We broke them up. Get them too hard, they like to cluster back together. So when you hit a little hard, all right. we'll get going. Six o'clock in the IQ, we play the eight side. I'm gonna try to change some of the furniture around. We come two cushions in that with a bunch of spinner dinner on that ball at nine o'clock. See if maybe we can fix something up, change some stuffs. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I don't really want to bump that ball. Six o'clock on the IQ, it's going to come off the cushion. So, <sighs> we'll come out two cushions and try to come down the table. This really it looks like nothing's got a pocket. Lucky, I think, got on the good side of the ball. Team the corner, trying to change the way some of his stuff looks. Five o'clock on the IQ. All right. Change the route a little. We get a shot, though. We get a shot at anything. <sighs> That's brutal. The calf go brutal. Sorry, we got a shot. Six in the corner, 12 o'clock in the IQ. All right. <sighs> get rid of this 13. Just kill my ball right there. Really need to get over here to this 14 eventually. That way, because we can we can we can spread these balls apart and open them up just a touch if we get on the on the far side of that 14 over there. Might be too hard. No. Really wanted to be right here. Let's see if we can get up there. Five o'clock on the IQ. So we're just going to try to come out so we can get the desired angle to. Push those balls apart. We're going to see if we can come on the other side of them. One o'clock on the IQ. Go the end cushion. There we go. All right. Open them up a little bit. Let's 
but I tell you, I'm dead straight in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to roll forward. And we're going to shoot the four. Like that. Just try to come out the little angle where I was with the 11. Five o'clock on the IQ. So, <clears throat> hmm. center ball in the IQ. Try to break those balls up, just detach. Just a touch. Oh, three o'clock. Three o'clock. Play the three ball. Center ball on the IQ. Just wanted to break those balls apart. Now we got them spread apart a little bit. Nothing touching, nothing touching the cushion. Looking better. Looking better. Really not a big fan of bumping any balls right at this particular moment in time. So actually I'm gonna come <clears throat> I'm gonna come out and shoot the eleven next. So it should free me up if I can come on the back side of this tin and start working on that side of the table. Should be about uh <clears throat> 11 o'clock on the cue page. We just slide over there just like that. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so hit this with a hit this with a low ball. Actually, I probably just follow this forward. But I, if I if I Something funny happens. I hit it, get it thin. I wind up on that cushion. I'm gonna have a good shot. So I hit this with low ball and come back towards me. It's at uh, six o'clock on the IQ. See now I'm guaranteed a shot. It's like about seven o'clock on the IQ. So just want to come up and get us a good shot on the six. Huh. Now, we'll be looking where we're going to go from this six ball and where we're going next. Still got a little bit of problem right here. I think we can handle that once we get to the nine. I just want to come out. I like to come out right in that position right there. <clears throat> that five o'clock on the IQ. So we don't want to do nothing crazy. Want to come out so we can attack at three. But in the same, in the midst of all, we got us a good shot on the seven. So you can switch up any time, especially when you're playing 14 and run. And I'm no, and I'm no 14 and one player by any means. But if you get funny on a ball, and you get good on another ball, that's the thing. You you, you can get but you're backed up sometimes when you get funny on another ball. So make sure you're looking around the table. Don't just say I got found this ball and nothing else. Look the table over. Odds are there's something there that you maybe have missed. So it's like we're gonna we're gonna shoot this seven. I mean, this is a this is a good opportunity <clears throat> to maybe go over there and pluck that five and eight off. But the thing about plucking that five and eight off, once you pluck that five and eight, those are two good balls to get to this nine. So <clears throat> we're gonna just kill our ball right here and take the nine.
Set the center on, on the IQ. Just want to flub this forward just a touch. Same thing here. We're just going to stop our ball here. Because if we, we, if we stop it real good, we've got our choice of the 5 or the 14. They're both playing that position. position to where <clears throat> once I get over there to the 9, the 12 don't go over here. So kind of thinking I need to free up need to free up that 3 ball. Get it out of there. I can do this, that with this next shot. Do a little better angle. 6 o'clock on the IQ. I just want to just come back just a touch. Whew. Almost didn't come, we didn't come back enough, did we? To do what we wanted to do. I'm not saying we don't have a have a uh, have a way to get out the rack. Of course we do. Let's see. Kill it there. We're just going to use that five to come over. Hey, I could have maybe shot a little more angle on that ball. Three o'clock on the IQ. So we want to just come on over just like that. So, so now we've got a great shot on the eight. <clears throat> Kill our ball, shoot the nine, and go from there. So, We're not going to do anything fancy here, folks. We're going to kill our ball, right? And we're going to shoot the four and go on about business. It's going to be six o'clock on the IQ. Just like so. Hmm. This will be 12 o'clock on the IQ. So, come one, two cushions for the five ball. Twelve o'clock on the IQ. It's like so, and this is just nothing but six o'clock on the IQ. Pro six, we're gonna kill it right where it's at. the Red Door Den Training Center. This is a Charles Lackey exercise called the Hourglass. It will help your tight game a lot. Clusters jacked up, dealing with different breakout shots. It will help them out. Check out the inventor. He is amazing. Red Door Den loves him. Give a couple shout outs. Thomas Van Eck and the IQ will improve your pool game. I guarantee it. Check out iClinic.iqclinic.com. Pride Gumbo screen printing. <laughs> Jeff Eaton, he's the gas tank base man. Plus, he's a screen print man. Check him out for all your screen printing needs. Tell him Red Door Den sent you.
Pond Sharks, Newcastle, Oklahoma, wholesale prices on everything in the store. Tell them I sent you. Last but not least, OBQs. Get you an OBQ, Red Door Den Trade Center. We'll get you the best price in OBQ. I guarantee it. Contact Dr. Root or myself. Check out the YouTube, Red Door Den Trade Center on YouTube. Looking for a thousand subscribers and a thousand of your way. A brand new Phoenix shaft or your choice of a brand new OB lift. And they will lift them right over the ball. I guarantee it. Well, it takes a few seconds and Dr. Root and myself really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Check this out. I'll talk to y'all real, real soon.